The Trinidad and Tobago Police Service said in a media release on Sunday that Police Commissioner Ola Hayward Christopher has taken note of statements appearing in the local media indicating that the Commissioner will be hosting a tea party and suggesting it is inappropriate and insensitive for such an event to be occurring at this time. An apparent reference to media reports about criticisms expressed by opposition MP Saddam Hussein in Parliament on Friday during the debate on a motion of no confidence in National Security Minister Fitzgerald Hines. In the TTPS statement, the police commissioner states that the Tea Party being referred to is an event of the Trinidad and Tobago Association of Women Police to raise funds to support the attendance at the International Association of Women Training Conference in New Zealand. MP Hussein said in Parliament on Friday, I tell the Commissioner of Police, policing is not a tea party. Get out and do the job. Get out on the streets and do the job. Crime is not fashionable, Madam Speaker. We have a granny just killed this morning, and you are going to put on your fancy hat and go to a fashion show and tea party, Madam Speaker. Now, I support and I encourage you, women of the TTPS. But, Madam Speaker, timing right now is everything. Our nation is under siege. Commissioner Herewood Christopher pointed out in the TTPS statement that the fundraising event has been held regularly over the years, and traditionally the Trinidad and Tobago Association of Women Police will request and be granted the use of the official residence of the commissioner for the hosting of the event. The top cop adds that this permission is usually granted irrespective of the occupier or whether the residence is occupied at the time. Further, the TTPS said the police commissioner assures the public that the hosting of a fundraiser by the Trinidad and Tobago Association of Women Police in no way adversely affects the ability and the resolve of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service to address the nation's serious crime challenge. Jewel Brown, TV6 News.